Well, today is a pretty good day. We had uh, about two inches of snow across everything, but it rained last night and the snow is gone, which also meant my saw is now exposed again. I need to clean it up and put it away. Before I do that, I've got four stones. Uh, I'll tell you what my thinking is, and then we'll see, win or fail, what happens. This is one I found at the Brady Mine in Cobalt. It's uh, got calcite and uh, little metal veins that run through it. I'm, I, I actually soaked it for a little while in, uh, in vinegar just to expose some more of the silver and see exactly what I'm dealing with. My thought now is to put a cut somewhere almost down the middle so it'll stand up and then I will etch out the calcite or dissolve the calcite back and try to expose little veinlets that come up. Um, unfortunately this is very soft. You can see in my previous um, etching that I actually, you can see right there and there, that I lost some silver, but uh, I guess that's part of the game. This one is quite a heavy rock. I guess it's about five pounds. You can see some cobalt down in here, uh, the white calcite, and then I believe this is silver. What I'd like to do is just cut it somewhere and, and see how shiny that, that metal is. This one, for its size, is fairly heavy, but you can see the green bloom on it. Uh, the reddish here would be ure urethrite. Um, the white, again, is calcite. So it's a real mix. Not quite sure what to do with it or what it'll look like inside. So again, I'd like to take a cut and see whether or not it's pretty. <laughs> um, here is a lighter rock, and the metal detector said there was silver. I can see perhaps a little vein right here. I'm not seeing much. Again, I like to cut it and it's either going to be a, a nice rock or it's going to be something that I discard. So let's give it a go. What I'm using is just a, uh, a tile saw and uh, we'll start with this. You can see I've cut rocks before with it. Um, what I want to do is just cut it across here, across the veins, and see what it looks like inside. Let's, let's do it. Look at that silver shine. You know something? I think I might just leave it alone. Or maybe one side will dissolve in calcite. I mean, just dissolve in vinegar. Get rid of the calcite. There's the other one. I haven't even cleaned them off. Look at that. Real splash of silver through there. Beautiful. Okay. Next up. Let's, let's do this rock, which I said, I don't know what it has in it. About a half inch, yeah, maybe a one inch cut. Some of the rock looks like if I smacked it, it would break right along here. But uh, more silver than I thought it was going to have. The metal detector did not lie. 
Nice. Okay, so here's the rock with the green bloom. And the green bloom will be nickel. Uh, here it is cut. And you can actually see, looking at it now, that the, the whitish, somewhat off-white, that's not calcite, that's actually dolomite. And then down in here is nicoline. You can see that because it's a coppery color. Let me just get in closer to it. See that? That might be a really nice rock to either cab or uh, make into smaller pieces and put in a rock tumbler. Okay, so here's the big heavy rock. And looking at it again, I don't know what I was thinking. I can actually see silver there. They're just little shiny pieces that have hardly been rubbed or washed. That's silver. So here's the cut, and you can see definitely silver. If this were polished, it would shine like chrome. Beautiful. I noticed in my video that this rock didn't show up well because of the reflection. Hard to believe because it's not a sunny day. But um, I thought I'd just show what a silver vein looks like in calcite. Let's uh, grab the other one. There we go. I think that is really lovely. And I am going to just leave it the way it is.